Hi, good morning, Carol's Light -like community. I wanna say that I'm so sorry I couldn't join you all live last night with our social media director, Heather, as we started to show you a new um, idea that came to us uh, through another website, which was Jennifer Siebel Newsom, who was the first lady of California. And she posted a similar type of video uh, that had to do with a self-soothing basket. And I thought what a great idea it is to share that with our community as well. Because after I saw her video, I went ahead and created one. And although I, um, I tend to uh, have quiet time on a daily basis, I didn't connect it to go along with my senses and to provide to maybe something I was missing during the day or something that made me need to sit down and reflect a little bit longer than I uh, regularly do. So it was just a great spark that came on. So Heather, thank you so much for last night. Your basket was great. We were hoping to surprise each other because we know, um, you know, each of us have our own ideas of what soothes us. And as she shared with her, some of her anxiety and what may trigger her. So thank you for being forthcoming with us, Heather. That was very, very kind of you to share that. So what I wanna do is go ahead and show you my basket. Um, it's a self-soothing basket. I chose to drape a basket because I absolutely love sunflowers and automatically it just gives me um, a light. I just love the color. I, I love how a sunflower will always be planted and no matter how it faces, it's gonna always go to the sun, uh, which brings light each and every day. And so I went ahead and did a little cheat sheet, so I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't forget anything with this. And so I'm gonna start out with touch. And so for me, one of the things I absolutely love is I love to knit. So of course I have, um, I, I make some gifts for our spa baskets, which have to do with 100% cotton yarn. And um, I went ahead and put in an already started uh, washcloth that we uh, do put in our spa basket. But I love the feel and the texture of a pattern. Um, I love the feel of these bamboo uh, knitting needles. And um, I can just bring me to the present um, when I'm knitting. And it touches my heart to feel it. It touches my heart to know where the end result is gonna go. So that is the one thing I put in in my basket for touch. But I also put in a small journaling book. And why we say, um, or why would somebody say, well, what does that have to do with touch? Um, it's because I'm actually touching the pages. I'm touching the pen. I'm touching my thoughts in terms of what I wanna write in my journal. And the last thing that I also did um, was I put in a couple note cards for touch. Um, because I, I enjoy writing, I enjoy handwritten notes. And what better way to touch a feeling that you may have by sharing it maybe with somebody else. And so journaling is personal, I can share with myself. Um, the touch and the feel of my knitting needles uh, present me with um, that texture and that pattern I love, but also the knowledge that um, the end result again is gonna be connection. So that is my touch. I have a couple in my basket because as most people who know me personally, um, I'm all over the place. And sometimes I need to have to calm myself, not with maybe one idea, but with two. So I'm gonna go on to C. And what I did was, I love to look at old pictures. I love to sit with my mom when she's with me and look at old pictures. I love to put them in a drawer because I call them memory photos. What would we be like uh, without our memories of our history, of our great grandparents, of that special date, of our dog jumping in, in the air and capturing it and remembering that? And so what I did was I just put in a select group of pictures in an envelope and what I would do is just sit down and kind of shuffle them and pick a card or pick a picture, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna really see this picture for what it is. I'm gonna see, this one happens to be my husband, Jamie, and myself. And these were two of our lovely labs we had um, previously, and uh, Tilly and Cooper. 
But this picture here takes me to a place in 1999, July 15th, 1999, we were standing on a piece of property that we bought in Montana and we were waiting for the first scoop of dirt to be scooped um, for um, a new house that we were building back in 1999. So this has a flood of memories that I see and I wouldn't have that connection if I didn't have a memory photo. But the also thing that this brings to me too is just how time flies. So we need to stop and we need to really reflect on the past as well as the present. So for my site, um, this is something that I really thought um, brought me to the present, brought me calm and just brought such laughter and such feelings um, of being able to, mem uh, to, to remember um, the time and the energy and the reason and, um, and just be able to close my eyes and take a nice deep breath in and just for a moment capture that space and time because I just could feel myself seeing it in my memory. And for hearing, I went ahead and um, I do have an iPhone because I had an extra iPhone and I do connect with the hearing um, to maybe my playlist. Sometimes I might sit and listen to a very nice um, kind of a, a either a spiritual or a spiritual or mindfulness um, iPod, um, I, uh, or podcast. And so it brings me to a place that I can center myself and just reflect on something that could nurture me um, by listening to it and not being distracted by anything else. But the other thing in my um, self-soothing basket, it's a little bit big, but I absolutely love a thumb drum. I don't know how many of you have one or have seen it, um, but it's a, it's a very nice drum and I use it a lot in my relaxations and my meditation. But I put this near my self-soothing basket to remind myself, um, one, that I have it, I just don't want to store it, you know, in a box someplace. Two, to bring it out maybe on a more regular basis. And um, it's just... Isn't that a beautiful sound to be able to hear? And so sometimes a gentle reminder, brings you again calm and present um, with your soothing basket. So I have two. I just have an extra iPhone that I can connect to a playlist and again to a podcast as well as my thumb drum. And so now taste, and I'm going to combine my taste and my smelling together. Um, I am probably one of the unfortunate ones. Um, I have absolutely no smelling. I haven't had it ever since I was um, in my early teenage years. And <coughs> And therefore, my taste probably isn't the same as everybody else. I do have taste, um, but it's probably not as potent because there's some things that it's like, eh, mm, no problem. So the first thing for my taste is I will bring in a cup of tea. And uh, this will be something that uh, I will have throughout my um, self-soothing basket for whatever my needs are but I am a tea drinker. I do have several, especially a very good chai um, that my taste buds do taste. And so I will always sit and enjoy maybe hearing on my playlist a favorite relaxation and be able to drink my tea as well. So I have that for taste. But where I also have is is I keep, um, I put some uh, actually recipe books um, in here. Um, they're, these here I happen to get out of the Food Network and I have a whole collage of them. Um, but I love looking through them because uh, this is like 50 muffins and this is holiday drinks. This one is 50 brownies. I mean, who knew you could make 50 different types of brownies? And this one I actually love because corn is one of my favorite um, vegetables during the, uh, during the uh, summer season especially. And so why I'm doing this along with my taste and smell is because I'm a cook. 
I absolutely love to cook. And if you've maybe checked our YouTube channel out, you'll see that I have provided some of um, recipes or we've done some uh, videos uh, just to bring you into maybe a nice um, dinner that you didn't think of. And so for me, I thought my soothing basket should include a recipe book so one, I can sit and reflect on possibly a new recipe, uh, maybe learn something a little bit more about those 50 brownies, um, but also um, is to challenge myself uh, to either uh, bake or cook something that evening that I can share with my husband because he absolutely loves my cooking, thank goodness, but he loves the different tastes um, that I bring by using recipes. So although I can't taste it maybe the same of him, I absolutely love cooking for him. So that brings me joy, it brings me calm, and it brings me present, but it also helps me um, just to think of maybe new ideas for that. Uh, so that is how I bring taste and also smell because he enjoys the aromas um, that I cook with. I have an array of really wonderful spices um, from SpiceHouse.com. Actually, they're a wonderful online spice distribution. But lastly, in terms of smell, I have a vase. And I put a vase in here that's got a lovely flower design on itself. But again, um, because I'm an active person, what I would do um, in terms of smell is go out into the garden or maybe take a walk along a path outside and I would clip local nature type of either herbs or plants. Maybe there's a Gobera daisy, maybe there's a nice peony and I would bring that home and I would put it in my vase and I set it in a strategic place um, where our entry is, is our home. Um, and I always have a flower there because um, it always has a very slight um, scent of nice smell. And so I can provide it for others even though I, um, I, I can't enjoy the smell myself. I can enjoy um, participating in somebody else's smell by having a vase with a local uh, type of flower. And so that's really my self-soothing basket. I did for just in case I need something else, I did put in a, just a nice electric candle that if I'm gonna do a relaxation by listening and hearing my iPod and my um, Spotify list or my playlist. And I also went ahead and put in a pen and um, a little eraser. And these are a magnet. These are like little whiteboards. And what I plan on doing is um, leaving myself with an affirmation until the next time um, I come to my self-soothing basket. Might um, bring me back into the same present state or made me understand why I needed the self-soothing basket. And so those are just a few little additions that I have. And so I really hope that you will think about a self-soothing basket for not only yourself, but maybe a family basket. You can put it in a corner or you can put it in one of your children's room or maybe even outside on the patio. And the last thing to me is, this is also something that has to do with my touch, um, but it's a very, very soft, just little pillowy heart. And I'd like to leave this with you today because each and every one of you touch my heart each and every time you log into a live with us each and every time we see that somebody's visited our website um, which is carolslight.org little plug but maybe downloads our printables um, we couldn't be where we are today without our community so from my heart to yours thank you for listening thank you for listening to heather last night and peace be with you Namaste.